American Top 40. Casey Kasem's taping the American Video Awards this week, and I'm Bob Eubanks doing the countdown for him. Well, now we're up to the latest hit by the five-man group from Chicago called Styx. It's the first single off their new album, an album named for the most popular piece of graffiti in history. It was a simple declaration, Kilroy was here. And it was always accompanied by a funny little drawing of Kilroy, whoever he was, peeking over a wall. It first appeared during World War II, when American GIs carried it around the world, writing Kilroy was here on walls throughout Europe and the Pacific. Now, who exactly was this Kilroy person? Well, according to the People's Almanac by Irving Wallace and David Walashinsky, James Kilroy was a worker at a shipyard in Quincy, Massachusetts. You see, his job was to check on the rivets that workers had used to put the warships together. And after he checked a rivet, instead of simply signing his initials in chalk, he would write, Kilroy was here, so there would be no doubt about his having checked that rivet. And sometimes he'd draw that little picture, well, the completed warships left the shipyard with some of those graffiti still intact. And as they reached different parts of the world, the slogan, Kilroy, was here caught on. It became the most far-flung, most popular piece of graffiti in history. James Kilroy died in 1962. And the editors of the People's Almanac spoke to his wife, and she said, and I quote, He was very proud of the tribute American servicemen paid to him when they adopted his slogan as their very own. Well, recently, the group Styx revived that slogan as the title of their new album. And from that LP, here they are at number three with Mr. Roboto. That's the band Styx with a song written and sung by keyboard player Dennis DeYoung. Up two notches to number three, it's Mr. Roboto. The two biggies are up next. Casey's Coast to Coast. Casey's Coast.